This is going to be a very long video. Please grab a tea now, strap in, buckle up, and let us embark on this journey together. final day of everyday May, everyone. Today is May 31st, or when you're seeing this video, it's May 31st, and everyday May is coming to an end. Hashtag EDM is at a close, and this is the 31st video that we've posted over the last month. It has been such a blast, you guys. Thank you so much for all of the love and coming back here every day and engaging with the content and supporting it. And you know, I hope we all had a good laugh and a giggle and maybe learned something new over the last month. So to round up the everyday May, I wanted to film a May favorites for you guys, a things I'm loving, a things I've loved over the last month, a collection or roundup, if you will, of the last month of things. So that's what we're doing today, hence why it's going to be a long video because I have a lot of stuff to blab your balls off about. <laughs> if you have loved Everyday May and if you are excited for new videos to come afterwards, please do subscribe to my channel. There are so many of you who watch but are not subscribed to my channel and I see how many of you don't have the notification bell turned on. So click subscribe, click the notification bell, be notified when I upload new videos. It really helps a lot and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you do like it. So my friends, Friends, let us get in to the favorites. Now before we get into the actual product favorites, I did want to say that a huge favorite from the month of May, something that we were so excited about was the restock and relaunch of my collection with the Saltwater Collective. We were so excited to make that announcement, the restock announcement, and I wanted to just remind you guys that as of tomorrow, June 1st, the swimsuits are going to be permanent on the Saltwater Collective website. Originally we were just going to do the white and black bikinis, but we have in fact restocked some of the one pieces for you guys by popular demand. We are still not sure if we're gonna keep the one pieces permanent, but we'll definitely keep you posted. But as of tomorrow, everything's gonna be restocked on the website in white and black, both the bikinis and the one pieces, and they will be there indefinitely for your shopping pleasure. So I'm gonna to link to my collection page on the Saltwater Collective website for you guys to check out tomorrow. It's going live at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so if you missed out on these suits during the last restock, they're now on the website indefinitely. So we're very excited about that. Check out the description box down below and we'll see you guys on the website tomorrow. Now let's get into the product favorites. <laughs> I wanted to start with makeup in general because I just filmed an update video where I did a roundup of lots of the new makeup that I have been trying over the last month, like the Hourglass Veil Setting Spray, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, the Marc Jacobs At Lash, we've got concealer. There's been a lot of products that have generally been my favorites over the last little while. And because I did just film a video on that, I'm going to insert that here for you to check out where I did a full overview. But in general, those have been the new makeup products that I've been trying and loving over the last few weeks. And I think the biggest thing for me that has changed this month and one of my biggest favorites is basically in how I've been applying my makeup. I did an entire video on some new makeup tips and tricks, and there's just been a few ways that I've been applying my makeup differently. First being the foundation. I'm normally such a applying with hands gal, and I don't think that will ever stop, but I have been really enjoying using just the good old classic foundation brush, which I never thought would happen. I've been applying so many of my foundations, like more lighter and medium coverage foundations with just a little classic paddle foundation brush. And it's been really great. And I feel like I've been using so much less product and the same goes with the eyeshadow brush trick or just using a smaller brush. I've been using this to blend out concealer. I've been using it in the application of powder. And I feel like these things have really kind of changed my application application game. So even though it's not necessarily like a product favorite, it's the tools that I've been using and the process of applying my makeup. And I feel like I have to mention that because that's definitely been what I've been doing over the last little while and it's been a new favorite for me. I wanted to talk about bronzer brushes because <sighs> this might be the end of the e.l.f. large stipple brush era. Now here's my beef with the e.l.f. large stipple brush. A lot of you send me this brush and say that it's available in a kit. I have yet to see this by itself on the e.l.f. website. I don't know why they don't make it available. And this brush is the original one I've had. I think it's over four years old at this point. It's, it's disgusting. I've been holding onto it for a very long time, but I just need to show you guys the bristles. They're like all bent over 
and curdled up. Maybe it's not going to show on the camera. Listen, this has seen a lot of life and it's getting to the point where it just doesn't get clean in the bristles. It's kind of getting this like gunky buildup and I just feel like it's time to pass it on and I wish that they would just sell this by itself because it's a beautiful brush but I'm not able to currently update it. So I do want to say that you guys might not be seeing this so much anymore. I know, crazy, we're switching up a bronzer brush. But I wanted to show you the new brushes that I have added into my collection. I've shown them and used them a few times, but here is the final roundup to refresh your memory. The Smith 157 brush. I've been loving this so much for applying cream bronzer. I feel like I have so much more control with this. I love that it's quite a dense brush, but it's slanted. It's just been so perfect for blending out cream bronzer and contouring products. I've been absolutely loving it. And I might, I might have to pick another one up for cream blush. We'll see. I kind of just want to try it out. I'm really enjoying dipping my toes into different tools and techniques. So this brush has been the winner and what I've been using exclusively for cream bronzing things. Now for powder bronzer, these are the two brushes I've been enjoying. The main one being the Refer 05 brush. These are both Refer brushes, which was a new brand to me over the last few months. They sent me a package and they're really beautiful, high quality feeling brushes. They're super soft. And 05 has been the one that I've been using for bronzer. I'm basically just overhauling my entire makeup application ways, but trying to very much do the Katie Jane Hughes and makeup artist way where I'm starting with less product and building it up. Whereas normally I would just take like a big brush and just slap it all on and then try and blend it out if I went too overboard. But yeah, I've, I've really been enjoying this little brush for bronzer and I've been doing a lighter hand. I'm obviously in a very pale state, so I feel like I'm not able to pile on as much bronzer as I might usually do, but yeah, it's a very lovely brush. And then when I'm applying bronzers in general, I usually like to layer up. I'll use like a cream, either contouring or bronzing product. Then I might go in with a matte bronzer. Then I might go over top with a shimmer bronzer. I love to, you know, mix and match as I'm creating dimension in my face. And this one, the 22 brush, this really big, big bad boy, I've been dipping into the shimmery bronzers and just doing a really nice light layer over. It's great for when I'm applying bronzer down my neck and on my chest, which I do a lot. And yeah, these have kind of just been the new friends in the bronzing game, you guys. What do you think about the end of the elf stipple brush? I need to hear from you guys. It might be the day but I wanted to update you on the tools that I've been using. And that's kind of that for makeup. After this video, as we go deeper into the summer months, I'll obviously be updating you guys on all of my like summer makeup products. If you wanna see any specific videos surrounding makeup for the summer, you know, like an everyday makeup for the summer, if I'm just switching out my makeup in general, what do you guys wanna see in terms of video content as the summer comes along? Stay tuned for that. There's gonna be probably a lot more color than we are expecting. And I'll be talking more about like my hot weather sweat proof makeup later on, but that's kind of the wrap up for makeup over the last month. Let's move on to some other fun things. This is a tanner I've been trying. This is the Tan Lux Gradual Tan, and I bought this because Anna from the Anna Edit featured this. I believe it was in her April favorites. Whichever video it was, she looked so freaking tanned, and I know that the UK has been getting great weather, so I don't know if it was just this or if it's a little mixture of some actual sun in there, but Anna, your tan looked popping, and I bought this the second I clicked away from that video. And I wanted to give you guys my final thoughts about it because I have been using it over the last few weeks, and I think it's great. It's one of my favorite tanning products I've used. It's very, very liquidy. I'm just gonna put, I don't wanna waste it, but I'm just gonna pour it out so you guys can see, okay? how liquidy it is. It's literally like a lotion, which is so nice. I wasn't expecting to be such a fan of a formula like this. Let me just, uh, uh. but the reason being is that the last few weeks, if not months of using self tanners, I've been using the mousse, applying it with the mitt like I have for years. And for some reason, whether it's the product itself, if I have an expired product, which I can't confirm because there's no expiry date on said bottles, um, it's just smelling so bad. I smell like a zombie. It's disgusting. Um, just this horrible rotting flesh scent. And what I found previously with the mitt is it's really hard to apply it on yourself. It's really hard to get into all the nooks and crannies. You have to be so specific with the movement and precise. And I don't know, 
regardless of how I apply tan, I always end up a splotchy mess. There's always going to be somewhere that's screwed up. I'm going to have white splotches in my armpits or on my knees or my elbows. Like no matter what tan I've used, there's always going to be spots of concern. We've had the hashtag Dorito hands going on for years here. So that's nothing new. So what I will say is because it's like a lotion, it takes me less than a minute to apply it on my entire body, which is such a plus for me. I usually spend so much time, like I have to slot an hour out of my day to apply a mousse tan. So the ease of application for this has been so great. It's not as dark as some of the other tanners I've used in the past. It's definitely lighter in shade, but I found that I can layer it up, which is nice. And I really like it on my face and decollete area. And it's just been great. I've really been loving it. So Anna, thank you for bringing that tan into my life and definitely a favorite. Before we go into other miscellaneous things, I wanted to talk about an unfavorite. <laughs> and I feel really sad about this because I really wanted to love it. I was excited. I recently used up my Caudalie cleansing oil. So the next product that I moved on to was the Lila B a glow cleansing butter. And this was something they came out with somewhat recently and I was excited to try it. The packaging is stunning. Some of the Lila B products have been some of my favorite products for such a long time, like the bronzing duo, which I repurchased. Love that one so much. And so I had a lot of high hopes for this. I gave it a try a couple times. The smell is really fresh and fruity, like it smells really nice. I was excited about it. Love me a cleansing butter or a cleansing oil. For me, when I use a cleansing oil or a cleansing butter, what I'm trying to do is break up my makeup and make it easier to remove so that I can then go wash my face after. So when I take my cleansing oils or butters, I rub it between my hands and I just rub it all over my face and I specifically rub it in my eye area to break down the mascara to make it easier to remove. It's a very delicate little area. So that's what I always do. I've never had problems with said actions and movements with my hands and this one burnt my eyes so badly, you guys. It was like fire on my eye. This probably didn't help my whole blinking scenario. So for me, this was a big no. I wanted to look into the ingredients to see what it could be that was making me so sensitive to it. And one of the main ingredients in here and actually most of their skincare products is lavender oil, which if you just take a quick little five minute dive on the web and look into lavender oil, it's a very high suspect ingredient when it comes to those with sensitive skin and people who are sensitive to fragrances and essential oils and whatnot. So very high concentration of lavender oil in here. I can't confirm that that is what it is that made my eyes burn. <laughs> Like I had a blowtorch blowing into my eyeball. That's what it felt like, but that's just my hunch. So unfortunately this is a no go for me and I'm sad about it because it felt nice, but it burnt my eyes. So there we are. So now let's dive into some miscellaneous other favorites. <laughs> I need to talk to you guys about sweatsuits. Obviously we've all been spending a lot of time at home. There's definitely been a surge in the use of leisure, athleisure and lounge wear from what I've gathered from all those of us who are staying at home, working from home. We've been in a lot of sweatpants. I've bought a lot of sweatsuits over this time and I wanted to say that I love the Pangaea sweatsuits so much. I bought the bright neon green. I pre-ordered a few other colors. Dan got a hoodie. We've been big Pangaea fans in this household. However, I needed to show you guys an updated uh, development on the terracotta sweatsuit that I bought. Um, first of all, when I washed it, I followed the washing instructions. It turned pink, but then Meryl, my kitty cat, loves to drool. She's a drooler. When she gets really deep into her purring and pets, she starts drooling. I know that that can be an issue with cats. We have confirmed in the past from the vet that it is not an issue with her. She really does just drool. It's fascinating. Anyway, her drool stained my sweatpants purple. This is Meryl drool. It turned purple on these sweatpants and, um, it's all over the sweatpants. It's all over the arm of my hoodie where Meryl rests her head. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty upset about it. <laughs> the Pangaea sweatsuits are not cheap. So for those of you who have drooling kitties, I guess whatever's in their saliva just burns away the, you know, happy, loving, sustainable, natural dyes that are used in these, in these products. So that's an update for you. Kind of, I guess, a favorite slash unfavorite moment. Now these are Meryl's drool pants. However, on top of that, I did want to mention my favorite loungewear, truly that I've been wearing the most. I have three colors, the cream, 
the gray and the black and if you guys follow me on social media I've been seeing them popping about throughout the videos the TNA boyfriend series they have a whole boyfriend collection of oversized loungewear from Aritzia and I have been positively living in it living in it and this is the main sweatsuit that I wore or have been wearing the most. It's fleece lines, they're pretty warm, but it's just been so comfortable. I've worn it so much, and when I wash them, they don't fade or lose their color, and Merrill's Jewel does not turn them other colors, so that's kind of been my <laughs> go-to for wearing around the house, and I think having actually like a lighter cream set looks pretty chic chic when you leave the house as well. I've really been enjoying them. But for those of you who are asking about sizing references, I got this in a size two. Another thing I got a lot of questions about was when I filmed the video wearing the sunglasses to hide my blinking. These were the sunglasses I was wearing. And I wanted to say that I got these on Net-A-Porte probably about two months ago now. And they went out of stock. I looked again, then they were in stock, even though it said low stock, whatever. If you guys wanted to do a hunt for these, it's the SL276 Mika from St. Laurent. So those are the sunglasses that I was donning and I've really been loving them. They're great. Even though I made a video in the past of my worst luxury purchases and I said that I would stop spending money on Lux glasses, but here we are. Sorry to, to the old me for making such a statement. <laughs> for book updates, the book I read and finished this month was Educated by Tara Westover. It was super slow. It was really slow to get into this. I mentioned that in an older vlog, the patio vlog, I ended up finishing it in May. It took me a long time to get through this one truly, like 150 pages in, like halfway through was when it started getting really good for me. It took so long to get into it, but it was just really great. It was an incredible, shocking story. And this woman just made me feel incredibly uneducated and made me want to go back to school and expand my brain and get some more knowledge. But yeah, it was, it was really an incredible story and I'm really happy that I ended up uh, finishing it. It was great. The book that I've been currently reading, I really wanted to finish it so I could give you guys a final update in this video, but I've been reading Eleanor Oliphant. Oliphant? Oliphant, hey? It's completely fine and it's really funny. I'm only halfway through so I'm not sure how far it's gonna go into her like very sad backstory. But so far, it's just, I every time I read it, every page I laugh. The way the main character in this book talks is so funny and I've really been enjoying it so far. So I'll keep you guys posted on Instagram when I do finish it and give you my final thoughts, but know that that's what I've been reading now. I'd love to hear what books you guys are reading right now. I'm always looking for new ones to pick up and I really want to read more. I want to read at a faster pace. I've been going really slow. Let's do a Switch update. <laughs> this is the Switch. I've mentioned this already, but I've been playing Pokemon Sword. Dan and I have been playing Mario Party together. It's been a blast. Dan's favorite is Mario Odyssey, and the Switch is great, honestly. I thought that I would want the Switch Lite, but I actually am beginning to really enjoy the capabilities of this, like being able to hook it up to your TV, you can hook it up to a computer monitor, you can play together and remove the remote. So I do think that that's a really cool feature. And that's why for the final Everyday May giveaway, we wanted to give a Switch away to you. Now I have to say, Dan has put himself on every single waiting list. He snagged us this, like one came in stock one morning and got his hands on it. And it's been tough to get another one, but I will say that we have successfully ordered another Switch. It's actually being delivered on Monday, June 1st. So I don't have it in hand right now to show you guys, but the final giveaway is going to be the Nintendo Switch. And I know that I've said that I don't enjoy Animal Crossing. However, I seem to be quite a lonely anomaly in that field. So we did pick up Animal Crossing for you guys to have on the Nintendo Switch. And then I guess this micro SD card because apparently you need that. So the final giveaway is gonna be a Nintendo Switch for you guys to enjoy at home. You're getting Animal Crossing as well. And again, I'm sorry that we don't physically have it, but it is being delivered. And then as soon as we get it and choose a winner, we will be sending it out to you after Monday, June 1st, when hopefully it arrives in one piece. <laughs> so that's the final giveaway, guys. That's 
kind of also been an updated favorite and you can check the description box down below to see how to enter to win. I'll probably make a sweet little makeup bundle to go with it. I'll just add a bunch of stuff, but in general, the switch is the main part of the giveaway. So be sure to check how to enter to win that. And you guys, that wraps up this favorites video. Those are all the things that I've been loving over this last month, including my love for you. Honestly, this has been such a fun month. I think looking back even a month or two ago when all of this COVID stuff happened and everything that's been going on in the world, it was in such a deeper, sadder place. And I'm just so happy that this Everyday May was so much fun and filled with so much love. I have you guys to thank for that. I really hope that you've enjoyed this month and enjoyed the content. And as always, please let us know what you want to be seeing us. And when I say us, I mean Dan and I. It's a, it's a team venture over here. Let us know what you guys want us to film and what you want to see from me going into the summer. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much as always for watching and I will see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!